Hello friends. Here is a puzzle with only three pieces. It's quite simple, but the solution is still non-trivial. Here's an even simpler puzzle. It's only got two pieces, but the restricted opening of this temple makes getting the pyramid out of there quite difficult. This is the simplest possible packing puzzle. A basket and a single cube. The goal is to insert the cube into the box. Instead of multiple complicated parts and an obstructed opening, the goal here is to pack this single piece into a totally open basket. I know what you're thinking, I didn't try all the sides. There's six sides to a cube, so one of them has to be the real solution. It should be easy, but you can't quite get the cube to stay in, because something seems to be pushing back on it. What could it be? Invisible springs? Small magnets? Small magnates? <laughs> I won't spoil the solution for you, but I will say that only about 4% of people will be able to solve this on their first try. I've seen some of my friends solve it by accident, but there is also a logical way to do it. <laughs> this puzzle is my recreation of Simon Nightingale's One Piece Packing Puzzle. I've only seen photos and posts about this mysterious puzzle, but I've never been able to get my hands on a copy of it. How could a packing puzzle only have one piece and a totally open box like this? Puzzle bloggers online are very diligent in that they don't give out any spoilers to these puzzles. So all I had to go on was some very vague information. Based on these descriptions of the puzzle and its premise, I have designed this puzzle with the same premise and possibly the same solution. Unfortunately, in the end, I'm not sure if the mechanism of my puzzle is the same as in Simon's original. Perhaps someone who has a copy could compare the two. So how do you like this basket? Looks pretty cool, right? Wait a minute, do you see the little cubes there on the surface? Whew, what a relief! I actually came up with the mechanism to this puzzle a while ago but it took me all this time to perfect the manufacturing of it. Did you know it's almost impossible to 3D print a perfect cube? A 3D printed cube will always have three distinct types of faces. The sides will have these horizontal layer lines and the top will have a diagonal infill pattern like this. And the bottom is different, yet the bottom inherits the surface texture of your printer bed. Now I wanted the faces on this cube to be identical to each other, so you wouldn't know which face you were looking at. My first idea was to print six wedge shapes like this. The result was okay, but it's hard to get the structure to line up perfectly when you're gluing it. And gluing the last piece in is even more difficult. My next idea was to use these living hinge designs and print the whole cube in one flat piece like this. This worked better, the hinges made lining up the pieces much easier, you just fold it up like this. However, the corners on these individual face wedges are printed in a highly oblique angle like this, you see, where the next layer doesn't have much to grasp onto from the previous one. And as a result, the corners here, they tend to flare up like this. Then I tried this two-piece design. Each face is printed at a funny angle like this, but it's still identical. So all the faces should be similar to each other. At first, this seemed to work, but look, the problem comes from these edges here. Again, these edges are printed at a very precarious angle when you look at them mid-print. There's not much material for them to grasp onto on the previous layer. And for that reason, they end up flaring up and you get these inconsistent edges. 
In the end, I found a way to print a perfectly symmetrical cube with identical faces using this three-piece method. Each face is printed at a 45 degree angle, and they then slot into each other like this. Each face has a distinct grain in one direction that you can see, but the end cube is three-way symmetrical, so there's no way to tell one face from the other. To build up this cube, I first glue two of these components together here. Uh, then I take my secret mechanism, put it in, and seal the cube up with the remaining piece. And there you have it. I'm pretty proud of this puzzle. I think it looks amazing. I don't think you can get much better with 3D printing technology. While there is a logical solution to this one-piece basket, I think it's more enjoyable as a mystery object than a puzzle on its own. It is my favorite puzzle to hand out to friends to try. The goal here is immediately clear, just put the cube into the basket, but then as you try it, the magnetic mechanism fools you. Some people can solve it quite fast, but it's not easy at all to figure out how the hidden mechanism might work. <laughs> and even harder than to figure out how to solve it consistently. <laughs> For me, the real puzzle with this puzzle was figuring out how it works to begin with. If you've watched this video up to here, you now have all the information that I had when I set out to reverse engineer the puzzle design. I challenge you to come up with how a one-piece packing puzzle like this could work. Apart from that, I will also make a few of these and sell them in my shop if you want to buy one and take it apart and see if the idea that you came up with matches mine. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.